Lately, when it comes to the desktop market, Intel hasn't been doing that great, but maybe 2018 will be better with a new batch of CPUs. Plus, for those affected by the recent Intel patch, Microsoft has your back. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Intel had a pretty rough year in 2017, at least when it comes to their PC processors. AMD came out swinging with the Ryzen CPUs Ryzen in the, the first product. half of the year that gave incredible price to performance in nearly every professional application, with Intel only maintaining some dignity in gaming benchmarks. They later released what was clearly a knee-jerk reaction to AMD's Threadripper by announcing chips in their enthusiast line without seeming like they actually knew what they'll be. Fast forward to 2018 and Intel has released Coffee Lake, but we've also been given details of multiple security exploits in nearly every CPU out there. It seems to affect Intel CPUs the most, with the fix actually having a fair impact on performance, at least in certain applications. While well, Intel is hoping to finally turn things around, during the company's earnings call, the CEO stated that they're working to incorporate silicon-based changes into future products to address Spectre and Meltdown. He then explained said products will begin landing later this year. What the new CPUs they're referring to is tough to say, but it's almost certain that they'll be the upcoming Cannon Lake and later updated Ice Lake chips set to run on their new 10 nanometer nodes. My only fear is really what they'll be capable of doing given the only reason the software fix hinders performance is due to it essentially making a certain feature less valuable. If they took said feature out via hardware, I'd assume it would still have performance implications. I mean, this was a feature on the architecture for a reason, but here's to hoping they found another way to implement it that isn't affected by Spectre or Meltdown. Either way, fingers crossed for Cannon Lake and possibly even Ice Lake mainstream CPUs in 2018. Our next story for the day gives us an update to one I ran just last week. For those who don't know, Intel has officially suggested that everyone, including end users who own Broadwell or Haswell based systems, to not install their newest security patch for the Spectre exploit because it's causing random reboots along with system stability issues in general. Well, Microsoft is coming to the rescue with an out of band update that effectively disables the problem patch made to mitigate specifically the branch target injection vulnerability. Keep in mind that this is effectively stopping the mitigation from one of the exploits, but it's just until Intel can update the patch to not cause these system issues. If you're running the patch on an affected Broadwell or Haswell system and having issues, you can get the Microsoft update down in the description below. So while that does it for today, what do you think of the news? Ready to be done with all this exploit mess or just want a graphics card? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the GamerMail Discord server so you can talk all things gaming hardware. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.